monumental moments where we live to multiply his movement. I'm Melissa Machenbacher, and this is a place we passionately pursue and proclaim Jesus. Today's monumental moment on the Fuel for the Harvest podcast is titled, I'm sorry, please repeat that. I met a friend early in the morning for coffee recently, and the coffee shop was extremely busy as people were grabbing their heartwarming cup of joe. I started noticing something interesting as I waited in line for my friend. As I waited and ordered my chai tea latte extra hot with almond milk, I listened intently to the long orders. The orders were not long because of the multiple drinks within them, but in most cases because of the specialty orders within the masterpieces that they were creating. It made me think of the commercial slogan, BK, have it your way. Not being a coffee drinker myself, I hadn't heard most of these orders before. In fact, one woman came up and ordered a long list of requests and finished with, upside down please. I later leaned over the counter and asked the barista, what on earth is upside down? She smiled graciously and explained, it simply means reversing the order of ingredients in the cup. She said, it's surprisingly much better that way. So intrigued and continuing to process this growing phenomenon, I started asking friends about their crazy coffee orders that they've heard about and I started researching specialty orders. And here are a few that I have noted. An extra cold hot chocolate or a layered frappe with four individual layers of whipped cream, caramel, and drizzle, or a 2020 with 20 pumps of vanilla and 20 pumps of hazelnut. Another one is a fruit tea with 25 packs of equal. Another one is a coffee with 12 pumps sugar-free vanilla, 12 pumps sugar-free hazelnut, 12 pumps sugar-free caramel, and five pumps skinny mocha, all double blended with a a splash of soy and light ice. As a society, we're getting really good at specialty a la carte and short or long orders. More and more, we're wanting to push the envelope with signature orders to have it our way. As I wrestled with this concept, I had to look within. I wondered to myself, how how often, honestly, am I requesting crazy, radical orders? Am I doing that with God too? Do I read his word and want to take portions of it to fit my liking? More of some and less of others? Am I casual with the word of God? We must be careful not to add to it or take away from the word of God. Deuteronomy 4.2 says, You shall not add to the word that I command you, nor take from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you. In my quiet time reading my Bible this week, I read Isaiah 66 too, which says, But on this one will I look, on him who is poor and of a contrite spirit, and who trembles at my word. God looks on those who tremble at his word. Let's dare not be casual with the word of God or look at it as if we can have it our way. This led me on a further journey through the word, remembering the scripture, Joshua 1.8. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. Lord, I pray, please help us meditate on your word day and night and be careful to do all that is written in it. God's word isn't intended for us to use to make special orders. His word is forever firmly fixed in the heavens. Let's commit to read the word of God, study, pray, meditate, share, and long for it. Let's choose his way and not our way. His way is life-changing. How can you make monumental moments and live to multiply his movement today?